Dude, what gives? Why aren't you doing Movember again this year? What I, I am, though. You are? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> oh, and the Leafs won. And then, yes, please, dude. What a great goal. Dude, crazy throwing waffles. Woo! Who are you? Optimus Prime. Leafs win 5-3 to three over the New Jersey Devils. The shadow of a team they used to be New Jersey Devils. I don't know how they pulled it off, but the Leafs and Devils managed to have an eight goal game that was uh, pretty boring. But they won, so yay, flowers and candy. And the Leafs would score first, which is dangerous. I said this last video, the Leafs have lost four games this season, three in regulation and one in overtime, and they scored first in all four of those games. Then again, the guy who did the scoring wasn't Joey Crabb. Tied for second in scoring not only on the Toronto Marlies, but in the entire American Hockey League, Joey Crabb, Bats in his first of the year in his first game. And what was more impressive is it wasn't like the puck just went up and he batted it. It was coming at him like a pitch. Looks like the Texas Rangers could have used him, huh? Huh? Enter sports joke. High five? No? Then shortly after the Devils get a power play and you know what that means. Free goal time! Dinah Zubris muscles Gunnarsson gets the puck and scores 1-1. And pretty much right after that, Jonas Gustafsson with a huge save and the puck makes his way up the ice. Beautiful cross ice pass to Grabowski who kind of fanned on the shot but scored. I'll get to Brodeur a little later, just... Ugh. Second period comes and the Devils get another power play. Free goal time again! The Leafs are like Oprah when they're on the penalty kill. You get a goal! And you get a goal! All five people in the stands in New Jersey. Oh my god! And assisting on that goal, Adam Larson with his first career NHL point. That's right, a first against the Leafs. You get a first! You get a first! Oh my god, Oprah, thank you for never scoring point! Oh my god! I shouldn't be able to do that. Four minutes later, Joffrey Lupul puts the Leafs back on top. Remember when I said all those nice things about Lupul? I like being right. Yeah, speaking of first. Conley picking up an assist, but also Mike Komisarek, who had an assist and was a plus three. No pigs yet. And David Clarkson scores like two minutes later, like, can we hold a lead for like some amount of time? Well, at the other end of the rink, the Devils must have been thinking, can we just keep it tied for some amount of time? A minute and a half later, Lupul scores his second of the game, assisted by Connolly and Kessel. Now, I don't want to alarm anyone, but Tim Connolly has four points in four games. Now, if he can stay healthy, stop laughing! This line will be stupid dangerous because Lupul and Kessel are already clicking on their own. Then the 5-3 goal is where it got sad. Not because the Leafs were killing the Devils. They certainly weren't. Two goals? Eh, that's a pretty standard win. Before I get to the goal, let me first get this out of the way. Grabowski with an assist. Boy, is he heating up. And Phil Kessel with his second assist to the game. First in the league with 10 goals, but he's also tied for third in assists. And it's not that Phil Kessel is leading the NHL in points with 20. It's that the two guys tied for second have 16. He's an animal. And that's why he dressed up like a lion for Halloween. Put him up, put him up. And if the it, the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz was referring to his points, yes, Kessel is indeed putting those up. Okay, so the goal. All right, here we go. And okay, who took the remote and put Martin Brodeur on slow motion? Finuff grabs the puck, what a guy. First game back, he's 100%, you sure? Like, dude, make an effort didn't even look like he tried. Now he did make that redonkulous save against Kessel, which actually showed me just how well the Leafs are doing. Last couple seasons, Kessel would have just smacked his stick against the boards in frustration. This one, he gets robbed and he's like, eh, I'm still awesome. But at the end of 60 minutes, Joffrey Lupul gets a hat trick and the Leafs win 5-3. to three. Another two points. Just 10 games between hat tricks. Phil Kessel got one in game 2 against the Sens. Lupul with one in game 12 against the Devils. This is change I can get behind. Last talking point for me, Luke Shen. Now he's like barely playing anymore. He just got over 10 minutes by a whisker. But last night could be the turning point. Now, I'm not one of those guys that advocates, hey, fighting can really change the tide of a game. It can, but like 90% of the time, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. This is hands down the most pissed off I've ever seen Luke Shen. Look at just the utter anger and hatred he has in his eyes. He's just so... Oh, okay, David Clarkson starts getting in some good shots. And then Luke Shen, rah! We've seen this before. Shen's not a great fighter, but he's crazy strong. And here he pretty much looks like the Hulk throwing a city bus. You won't like him when he's angry. Last season, Luke Shen was by far the most consistent Leafs defenseman. You could even argue the best Leafs defenseman last season. It's going to turn around for him, and hopefully the passion that he showed here is proof. Hey, I got a little cut on the bridge of his nose. That thing always gets cut. If Daryl Boyce can come back after what happened to him, I think Shen will be fine. I'll end this one quickly because tonight the Leafs take on the Columbus Blue Jackets, a game they should win. Columbus is dead last. However, and I said this on Twitter, these are the sort of games that the Leafs always seem to lose and it kills them. It was either 0506 or 0607. The Leafs were playing the Coyotes. They're up three or four to nothing and they end up losing the game in regulation. That season they missed the playoffs by one point. Every single game matters and whether the Leafs beat the Blue Jackets one to nothing or nine to eight, they got to come out with two points. And tell you what, I'll make the question of the game this. I wasn't planning on asking it until way later in the season, but can they?